Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I will share the complete makeover of the room where I am standing in right now. My jewelry making studio, or like I call it, my atelier. This place used to house pigs. These walls were built over 100 years ago. And you can find a lot of similar buildings here on the French countryside. I am a jewelry designer and maker and my husband's professional experience is in electronics so you'll understand this was a huge job for us to renovate with lots of new skills to learn. Let's go back to 2020. This is what our outbuildings looked like at the time we purchased the property. They are separate but just next to the house or main building. This is what I really liked about this property. I wanted to be able to work from home, but not in our home. During the first months we were here, I had a small bench in our living room, as obviously the buildings weren't in a good shape at all, so it wasn't possible to move all my equipment there. Most of my stuff was stored somewhere else. We started by cutting down all the bramble bushes and weeds that started to take over those old stone buildings. As we wanted to know exactly what we bought, since we actually didn't know that very well, as it was no longer possible to enter most of this. It was clear that a lot of the roots were damaging the walls and some vining plants were damaging the roofs and quite a few plants were already growing inside the buildings. So we clearly couldn't wait on restoring them. The roofs were already filled with holes and here and there the walls also had stones tumbling down. But for the most part the structure was still okay. After getting rid of all the weeds and shrubs, we could see the little courtyard surrounded by all these little spaces and I could already imagine having different studios here. We still had to clean up all the mess and dirt that was inside these buildings. We decided to start with the smallest roof and the two spaces underneath that roof. It was a good idea to start there, as it was small and we could learn all the steps from the beginning till the finishing touches, before moving on to a larger building. So we started by taking out the floor in these two rooms. We knew we could use those big stones for other projects around our property. After those stones were out, it was Jordi, my husband, who did a lot of the next steps on his own. He was traveling back and forth to our house here in France to prepare the house for our family to move in and work on the renovations while the kids and I were back in Belgium working and going to school there. He started digging out lots of sand as we wanted to insulate the floor. Once that was done, the space already looked less dirty, but still hard to imagine it as a studio. We had quite a few people telling us we were crazy for even trying. <laughs> After that, he took off the old roof tiles and it was time to build the new roof. We hired help for this part as we didn't feel comfortable enough to do this on our own. Next, we had a layer of concrete coming in for the base of the floor. It was during a school vacation, so the kids and I were also here and my brother helped us out as well.
After that, Yuri was working alone again, this time working on the walls. They needed complete repointing. It might not look like that, but this is a huge task. He did one space totally alone, working during the day, but since it was winter, he was even working when it was already dark outside. He wanted to have the walls of the second room done as well before we moved in. But it was a lot colder again and we learned that pointing walls when it's freezing just takes much more time than it would once it's a little warmer. In February 2021 we moved in. We stored most of my studio equipment in my brother's barn across the street. And once temperatures weren't freezing anymore, we continued working on the walls. This time finally working together again. Jordi teached me what he already learned. We wanted all the walls to be done before the new doors would be installed. Unfortunately, the custom-made doors and windows were way too small and narrow, so we sent them back and continued working while waiting for new doors and windows. Electricity and floor insulation were put down. Then another layer for the floor to make it easy to put in floor tiles later on. Finally, the doors and windows arrived. This time they were the correct size, so my workbench could fit through. After that we put more insulation in the ceilings. And started on a floor for the tiny room upstairs. We finished the ceiling with wood and gave it a darker finish to protect it. Then we connected the electricity of the main house to the outbuildings. This is the tiny room upstairs. It will in the future be a bedroom for artists in residence. Downstairs will be the studio space. I worked in here for a few weeks before moving in more of my equipment and really liked a simple setup like this. But I also missed working with more tools. So we filled every inch of this room with all of my stuff. Since September, this is what my studio looks like. My craft and sewing space upstairs. And my jewelry making equipment downstairs. It's a small studio compared to what I was used to, but I love working here. It's very cozy.
Okay, wow. <laughs> it took me a long time to edit this video. Looking back on all the footage and to this space, we are so proud of what it looks like now. We will still make some changes here and we are already doing some things a little bit different in the renovation of the next building, but that's what we expected. That you know, we could adjust our plans after having the experience of converting this space. On our other channel, the Artisan Homestead, we will make a similar video in the near future, but explain more in detail what kind of materials we used and all of that. For now, I just wanted to proudly <laughs> share this project with you all. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what we did here and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done that already and would like to follow my jewelry making journey. The next video will be a studio tour, so let me know in the comments as well if you have any questions about that. Maybe I can already answer them in that video. Thank you very much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye!